Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn how to install Ruby on Mac operating system. And this is going to be very easy and very interesting. And step number one here is we have to check if Ruby is already installed and you can use the command Ruby space hyphen V. So I will go on my terminal. I'm pressing command plus spacebar on my keyboard to bring up the spotlight. And if I type terminal, I will get the terminal app and hit enter to open terminal. And here I will say ruby space hyphen b now in most of the cases you will find some version of ruby already installed on your mac because since version l capitan of mac os we have ruby pre-installed but if you want to get the latest version or if ruby is not installed you can go to step number two that is get homebrew homebrew is a package manager for mac and using homebrew you can install other packages on mac so to get homebrew you can go to brew.sh and here here is the command that you have to copy and run on your terminal so just copy this from here and run this on your terminal and if you run this command it will install brew in my case it is already installed so i will just go here and check what is the version of brew so you can enter the command brew space hyphen v this will show you the homebrew version on your Mac operating system. So after getting homebrew, you can run this command. And now using brew, we can install other packages like Ruby. So I will say brew install Ruby and I will run this command. Now in my case, it was already there. So here you can see it is okay. It is downloading the latest version. So let me wait and let it download and install the latest version. And then I can again check the version of Ruby on my system. And the last command or the last step is we will add Ruby to our path environment variable. And we have to be very careful that we do not have to overwrite. Therefore, we are using this. Whatever is already there in the path environment variable, we just want to append the location of Ruby, which by default goes to this location in the path environment variable. And the same will get added to the dot bash profile. So it becomes permanent. I will just go and check it is still downloading is done and now it is saying pouring Ruby and let me just wait if I so let me say again brew install Ruby and let me see what it says okay so it says this is already installed and you just need to link you can use brew link ruby so let me first run this command to set the path environment variables and all these commands will be available in the description of this video so this is fine and now i can check i will say cat and i will just check my path environment variable so i will say user raghav and dot bash profile and now I can check, I can see Ruby is here. So that is fine. Now, if I open a new tab of the terminal or new terminal, I will press command T to open a new tab. And now if I say Ruby space hyphen V, Ruby is there. And if I say Ruby minus E and I write a Ruby uh, script, for example, I say puts and here I will say hello world. So this we should run the program and this is running the program so that means ruby is now installed and now i can use ruby on my mac operating system so this is how you can install ruby on mac os thank you for watching